Hello, Star Wars fans! Star Wars, Darth Vader headquarters here, and today, we're gonna be listening to the story of Ven Zello, the Jedi Knight. Guys, if you haven't heard the story of Ven Zello, or, or not, then, then well, you can go check him out on Google, and if you go on the Star Wars Wikipedia, then, then it'll tell you all about it, the whole story and everything. Well, pretty much, I haven't heard the story of Venzella. I've, I've heard of him, but I had just haven't heard the story of, of Venzello. Well, pretty much, I've heard that um, Venzello went face-to-face -face with Darth Malgus. If you guys didn't know, it was in the Star Wars The Old Republic. It was like a little uh, short movie video. Well you, got, well, you guys can go check that out if you guys want after this video uh, where Venzella goes against Darth Malgus. Okay, guys, let's get into this video. Hey, guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another episode of A Star Wars Story. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of Jedi Master Ben Zello, who is most notably seen in the Star Wars The Old Republic, Deceived Cinematic Trailer. As always, we're mixing the expanding universe and canon, because we believe that there is no reason why most of it can't fit together. Anyway, let us begin. Ven Zello was a human Jedi Master who lived during the Great Galactic War, which was in the times of the Old Republic era. The Great Galactic War began in 3681 BBY when the Forgotten Sith Empire emerged from hiding and attacked the Galactic Republic. Around this time, Ven Zello trained his apprentice, Erin Lanier, and when she reached knighthood, he gave her an auto and tranquility bracelet. In 3653 BBY, which was 28 years after out of the war, the Sith Empire contacted the Republic with a request to negotiate and finally end the conflict. The Jedi was skeptical of the Sith's intentions, but didn't have much choice due to them believing that they had a little chance of winning the war. Zell's apprentice Lanier was to depart Coruscant and go to the peace conference which was held in Alderaan while he stayed on Coruscant in the Jedi Temple. Unknown to the Republic and the Jedi, the Sith planned to use the peace talks as a diversion as their forces attacked the Republic capital. Darth Malgus, alongside his Twilight lover, Elena Daru, walked into the Jedi Temple while killing the guards to lock themselves in front of Zello and his lightsaber-wielding allies. Before anyone could act, a Rindaran-class shuttle crashed through the main entrance to the Jedi Temple and stopped right behind Malgus. As the shuttle's hatch opened, it revealed the strike force of at least 25 Sith warriors who immediately engaged the Jedi and the Temple security troopers. While the battle ensued, Malgus was eager to duel with Zello because he was one of the most renowned and powerful Jedi of his era, but before he got the chance, Ben would take out quite a few enemies, including force pushing Malgus' Twilight lover into a pillar. Ven would be alerted by his T7 astromech droid of Malgus' incoming attack, after which their duel ensued and the Jedi held his own, while at the same time being attacked from behind and taking a few Sith warriors down. Ven Zello would defend himself while at the same time attack the Sith like never before. He used almost all his skills in his duel with the hardened Sith warrior Darth Malgus, who was an aggressive foe like none other. In the end, Ven would strike a blow to his enemy's face, after which he was surprisingly stabbed through the abdomen with the Sith's lightsaber. Malgus told him that they were all deceived, and that is why their Jedi Order and Republic will fall. The last things Zello saw were the Jedi Temple and Coruscant in flames, with scores of starfighters and warships in the background. But as the Jedi Code goes, there is no death, only the Force. His apprentice Lanier felt his death through the Force and immediately realized that the peace negotiations were actually a trap. She would later receive a Master's lightsaber from his surviving T7 astromech droid, which picked it up in the ruins of the temple. Darth Malgus regarded Ven Zell as his most famous kill, which made him even more renowned than Kael Sindarich, who fell to his blade early in the war. He also greatly respected the slain Jedi Master because of how formidable he was. Anyway guys, this is it on the story of Ben Zello, and we hope you all enjoyed it, and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video, you rebel scum. You rebel scum. This party's over. Guys, I hope
hope you enjoyed that story of Venzella. It wasn't really long, actually. It was pretty short. Yeah, so guys, if you didn't know, Darth Malgus killed Venzella when they had the duel. Yeah, well, I just, I just wish he survived. Yeah, pretty much he, uh, trained, trained, in a, trained, uh, a Jedi apprentice. It, it, it was a girl, I can't remember her name. Why can't I remember her name? Plus, I was trying to repeat it in my head, but I somehow forgot what, what Venzella trained. It was, it was a girl, yeah, so I, I gotta look at, I gotta look that up again, because I forget stuff really easily. Yeah. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story of Venzella. It was really awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it. That, that story was really awesome. Okay, what else was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, and then pretty much, um, yeah, well, pretty much, like, like, like how you saw the, the guy with the horns, well, because it wasn't Darth Maul, actually. He, he, he had, like, a white skin and horns, like, like Darth Maul, but more different. Yes, it, pretty much that was his first Jedi, um, Jedi Knight that he killed. And then, and then pretty much his master, I think his name, yeah, his, yeah, his name was Lord Scourge. Then, then Darth Malgus, um, then Darth Malgus killed him because of his failure. And then he, then his last words, um, then Malgus said his last words to his, to his master, Lord Scourge. Then, then Malgus said, welcome home. Then, then kills him. Yeah. So, so like what I said, I hope you enjoy that story of Venzello. And, like what I told you, join the dark side with Darth Vader. And I'll see you in the next Star Wars video. Bye-bye.